Hey guys, I thought I'd take a quick break from Monday Night Football to explain a few things about the numbering system in InDesign. Um, specifically, I want to address the problems I saw today with the dummy booklets um, and how you guys can go about fixing those. So I already have my document with text imported, a couple of blank pages at the beginning, um, and I've already set up the folios on my master page. So if you haven't done that, you need to. Um, you definitely should not be individually adding numbers to each page. That should be something that's just automatically flowing through your document. Um, and that way, if you ever delete pages or reorder pages, that'll stay consistent. It's not something you can possibly forget. Um, so as you can see, um, we've got a blank couple of pages, but that means that this document starts on... Um, our first bit of text rather starts on page three and depending on how um, you've got your document set up you may or may not want that maybe number five uh, that you want to start with or maybe number one but in any case I will show you how to fix it so you need to have your pages palette open and you need to select all of the pages in your document um, and you can simply click on page one scroll all the way to the bottom, hold down shift and click on your last page and you'll see they all go blue which means they're all selected. <clears throat> so um, and you want to make sure these two things are deselected. So just click on them and you can see by clicking on them the little check mark goes away. Both of those need to be unselected and then you want to deselect all your pages by simply clicking in the gray margins of the page palette. So then you want to click on the page that you want to actually start your numbering with. In our case, it's number three. So you'll click it, highlight it so it goes blue, right click, and then go down to numbering and section options. And then you want to click this radio button so it says start page numbering at number one and this is where you would specify if you want it to start with page five you can type in five one is one um, we're gonna start with number one um, just for simplicity's sake and to ensure that a little warning pops up and I can explain that in just a second so um, we'll set it at one click OK is that warning box I mentioned basically all this is doing is saying that you have two page number ones in your document and that may be problematic later um, and usually where that becomes a problem is when you're numbering um, prefixes or um, sections and as you guys get a little deeper into creating books you'll run into that we won't have it for our uh, booklet design um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK uh, you can see it starts at page number one and then goes through the folios sequentially. Um, but if we go back up here, here's that other number one that it warned us about. Um, we can simply delete that. If we hold down shift and command and click on that box, what's that, what that will allow us to do is override the master page styling and that box will become active and we'll just simply delete it. You can see when it's this dotted line that indicates it's a master page dialog box, it's not selectable um, until again you hold down shift command and click on it. So that'll allow you to reset your page numbers um, and start them really on any sequence you want and um, yeah hopefully that helps.